I'm Larry, I'm one of the pastors here in Victory, and it's a joy and a privilege to actually uh, be the... Uh, thank you, Pastor Bojo, for... Uh, gusto, gusto ko pag-intro palagi ng series, and this series, we, we will start a series on miracle. And if you are actually part of our church for... Since this year, the sinubaybayan nyo, we started with the miracle as our series. So what a way to end the year with a series on miracles. Okay, the miracle of Christmas. Uh, speaking of Christmas, isang miracle ng Christmas is nagkasya sa akin tong vest na to. Okay? Grabe naman kayo. Kakaumpisa pa lang, guys. Okay? Tinawaan nyo na kagad ako. That, 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 that's true. Sa dami po ng Christmas parties, na naimbitahan na ba kayo? If not, imbitahan kayo ni Pastor Bojo sa bahay niya. Okay? Um, ang dami na pong Christmas parties. And uh, uh, the miracle of staying staying it at your desired weight is uh, is so big and so ano, because, because of all the Christmas parties. Okay. Can you show the first picture? Uh, we just had our D-Day Thanksgiving Christmas party. Okay, if you don't, if you're part of our church, alam, uh, sana alam nyo na church is not just on a Sunday. Church happens every day. And we are, we are here to honor God and make disciples. We do that every day is actually a church day. So church happens, church community happens, victory groups happen, small groups happen, conversations, prayers happen uh, in the coffee shop, in the homes. Thank you if you're opening up your homes. In the living room. Also here, every Wednesday, binubuksan po natin tong center for our D-Day. It happens here in uh, if it so happened that you're in New Manila, pati yung sa New Manila, uh, Robinson's, Magnolia, McDonald's, uh, every Wednesday, uh, two Wednesdays in a month, we also open it for our D-Day, okay, for small groups because that's, um, we, we're called to honor God, make disciples. And we know kung paano may strengthen yung church to grow the church is by small groups. And uh, if you want to know uh, more about small groups, please do approach us and uh, we, will be, we, are so, we will be so glad to connect each and every one of you. Okay, as uh, one more Christmas party. Next naman. Okay, yung up night natin, appreciation night. We had a family fair here where we uh, celebrated Christmas with our volunteers and our victory group leaders. It's a fun time of just uh, connecting, reconnecting, having fun, and of course, getting more calories. Uh, and by faith, sana mashed off natin. I, I, wh why am I sharing this? I want to exhort each and every one of us to be part of your church community. If you consider this as your church, be part of our family. Okay, so uh, we want to invite all of you. Uh, can, I, can I honor all the Victory Group leaders and the uh, uh, volunteers? Pwedeng tumayo kayo? Volunteers and Victory Group leaders? Yan, palakpakan muna natin sila. Si Pauline, kasali ka doon. Yan, okay. Thank you, thank you. And you can approach any one of them if you want to be connected. Okay, it's... it's it's a joy to be part of God's family, what God is doing, and be connected with His people as well. Uh, to begin, I'm Larry, one of the pastors here. Let me, uh, let me greet each and every one of you. A Merry Christmas from our family. Uh, can you show our family uh, Christmas photo? Yan, di ba? Ganyan ang ginawa ko kasi tinatry namin Photoshop. Hindi talaga kaya na ako paliitin. Sabi ko dyan, sa karikature, kaya niyan. What's challenging with preaching Christmas, especially to preachers like me who, 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 who preaches, is yung to be creative but also to not lose the meaning of Christmas. Hirap eh, ba? How many of you sabi mo, Pastor, alam ko na. Pipili ka na lang ng verse. Saan ka mag-Isaiah mag ka ba today? Mag-Matthew ka ba? mag ka ba? A alam na natin yung Christmas story. Ever since, ever since naman talaga, ever since we, 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 we were born, we know of Christmas. Uh, slide out muna kasi na nadidistract na ako, hindi sila. Okay, yeah, okay. A lot of us, I'll, I'll, maybe it's just me. Maybe you're thinking na, oh, nga, alam, alam ko naman na yung Christmas. But why do we, why do we preach on it on, on, on Christmas? What's new? What's, what's the pastor's take naman on this Christmas? My prayer is that we would not lose the significance just because we know about Christmas. Alam mo yun, wag mawala yung totoong meaning ng Christmas. Who is Jesus? Jesus, plain and simple, is Christmas. Christmas is all about Jesus. I, I remember a story um, uh, for my kids who are here, this is dad's final preaching for the year. So my stories would um, entail your stories, okay? 
I remember one Christmas. I, I, can't, for, I, I can't remember how old Jello and Monty was. But uh, dalawa pa lang sila that time, maybe around four, five, six years old. And I remember that uh, we panicked because Christmas, sabi namin, okay, Christmas might not be, happen. You know why? We actually had this um, uh, nat- nativity scene in our center table, sa sala namin. Okay? Uh, can you show that, uh, yung precious moments in the nativity scene? Can you show that? Yan. Yan. Baka gets niya kung ano nangyari, no? Because um, when we were about to do our Advent night, actually, my, my wife just reminded me it's our Advent week. So, nagpanik kami because when, uh, when we were about to light the candle for our Advent night, guess what? Jesus was missing. Nawala yung maliit na Jesus. So, yung dalawa, nagpanik. Pati, uh, ako nagpanik kasi sabi ko, lagot ako sa asawa ko kung hindi ko mahanap si Jesus. Nagpanik yung dalawa because sabi nila, Oh no! Christmas might not actually come because no si Jesus. Okay? Up until now, this is how many years? 16, 17, 18 years after, I don't know who the culprit was. Okay? Either Jell or Monty lang yon. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa kasing umaamin. Okay? Try kumamin ako, umamin sila. But we found Jesus after, I, I don't know, minutes or hours searching in, in sa chest drawer nila, nasa second drawer. Hindi ko makalimutan yun eh. Kasi favorite nila taguan yung second drawer na yun, susi ng kotse, wallet ko, si Jesus andoon. So we panic. Sabi, okay, stop Christmas. Because Jesus is lost. You know, church, Christmas is anchored in Jesus Christ alone. Let me, let me say that again. Christmas is anchored in Jesus Christ alone. Without Christ, Christmas is meaningless. Maybe some of us here in the natin, oh, hinihintay mo na nga, hinihintay na natin yung, 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 yung bonus natin, hinihintay na natin yung sagot na prayer ng when we started about that special person, about a promotion, restoration in the family, maybe even healing of somebody who's sick. But Christmas is all about Jesus Christ. What happens is that in the reality of life, so many things actually dampen the meaning of Christmas. Kaya tuloy nawawala yung miracle ng Christmas. That's why we have to be refreshed again on Christmas. Okay? Yung, yung isang reality, consumerism of Christmas. Di ba? Tapos lang yung Black Friday. Di ba? Natapos lang yung Cyber Monday. Sino dito naghihintay kayo ng 12-12? Umamin na kayo. Consumerism of Christmas. We lose Christ in Christmas. Sometimes we lose Christ in the tradition. Na nakikita natin, tradition na lang yung Christmas. Okay, um... An afterthought. Can you show the ano, uh, yung December, four, uh, December 24, Christmas Eve service natin. We want to announce this. That we would only have one service for December 24 and also December 31. Our Christmas Eve and our New Year Eve service. Do you know that I have friends, I have families who only come to church during Christmas. Sometimes during their birthdays. And sometimes pag kakayanin, pag New Year. It becomes a tradition. It becomes a tradition and then slowly, pag titig mo, ay, obligation pala siya para maganda ang pasok ng taon, 2024. One reality also in our day and age is that Christmas is just a historical account. Yung iba nga may argument pa. I was actually approached by a nine-year-old child who told me because he watched, um, he watched in, in YouTube and he found out that Christmas is not actually on December. It just can't happen. It's somewhere between May to May, June, July. It's so sad that as we become so familiar with the, with the Christmas story, the more we lose the real meaning of Christmas. Who is Jesus Christ? Our true hope. My prayer is that as we go through the preaching, go through the series, go through this Christmas, marirestore yung hope natin. Not because of the things that we're waiting, anticipating, expectant of, but because of what Jesus has already done on the cross. Our hope. 
anchored on Him. In Hebrews 6, verse 19 says here, We have this, a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul, a hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. Our hope in Christ. Christmas is meaningless without Christ. It's meaningless without Christ. Can I ask everybody to stand up? Quite lengthy, but every year I would ask for a Christmas verse for me and our, in our family. And this lengthy verse is what God has reminded me today. That we are born again, not just to a loving, but a living hope. Let me repeat that again. That we are born again, not just to a loving, loving, because namatay si Jesus for, for you and I. That's why we get to celebrate Christmas. That's why we have hope that is, that is eternal. But a living hope. As well, that's the miracle of Christmas. First Peter 1, verses 3 to 9 says here, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. According to His great mercy, He has caused us to be born again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. From the dead to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you who by God's power are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last time in this you rejoice though now for a little while if necessary you have been grieved by various trials so that the tested genuineness Genuineness of our faith, of your faith, of our faith, more precious than gold that perishes though it is tested through fire, may be found to result in praise and glory and honor at the revelation of Christ Jesus. Though you have not seen him, you love him. Though you do not know him, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible. The outcome of your faith, the salvation of our souls. Let's bow our heads and pray. Father, we thank you for that reminder. Without your divine intervention, what we celebrate is meaningless. Father, I pray, Lord, that we would look to you, the author and perfecter of our faith, that we would look to Jesus as the true miracle of Christmas. Father, even pray right now, Lord God, for each one of us that hope is there because of Christ, that our hope is eternal. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take our seats. This week, we will focus on the announcement of the birth of Jesus Christ. How this is important for us to know that uh, we can actually fully celebrate the joy of Christmas. And my prayer also is that we, we would not just appreciate it, but we would actually use it as a tool. It's actually a tool. Pag nagsalo salo tayo, when we do reunions, when we come together as a family, what a joy to celebrate Christ by also with being witnesses. Tignan mo yung katabi mo. Okay? Each one of us are witnesses. I know some of us, we have actually been praying for family to, 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 to accept the Lord Jesus Christ. And we, are, we might as well be the closest person to Christ that they know. So in our Christmas tables, what a joy to celebrate it, it by our words and our deeds if we celebrate Christ as the center of our celebration. Our, our text will be in Luke 1, 26-38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, do not be afraid, Mary, for ye have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. 
He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David. And he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. From this very text, a Christmas story text, three insights that would actually give that should give us hope on the, on the miracle of Christmas. First, is that God uses ordinary people with, ordin- with extraordinary faith for His glory. And in our story, alam naman natin na ang ginamit niya si Mary. An ordinary person with extraordinary faith. What makes Mary, Mary special? It's actually her humility, her faith. He's betrothed. Ano ibig betrothed? He's, she's actually spoken for. Uh, when we research this, probably be around 12, 13, 14 years old si Mary. And alam na kagad na mapapangasawa niya si Joseph. Hindi pa sila nagsasama, pero alam na natin na technically engaged na siya. How could this happen? Can, can you imagine that? A, a, a young woman like that, how could she explain it to her husband? I don't want to get ahead of the preaching next week because we're going to be talking about uh, the miracle of the virgin birth uh, before the incarnation and then also the guiding star. But then, come to think of it, ang hirap kaya mag-explain nun. How could a young woman explain that to her In, to her, ano ba tawag sa, fiancé. How could a young woman explain that I'm carrying a baby and then, uh, actually, I'm I conceived by the Holy Spirit. I'm carrying a baby who will become the Lord of all to her husband. Can, 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 you, imagine, can you imagine the complication Mary might have been thinking but because of her extraordinary faith, she humbled herself. She trusted Gabriel, the angel, in what he said and said, okay, let it happen to me. Let's compare to the, to, to the three different accounts where, where an angel appeared and, 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 and somebody got pregnant. Remember Abraham and Sarah? Ganun rin, di ba? Nanasabihan sila, okay. Sarah, at her very old age, may lumapit sa kanya and said, you will become, ah, to Abraham, you will become a father of all nations. How could this be? Tandaan na ng asawa ko. Wala na kaming ngipin. Paano mo mangyari yun? But it happened. But then before that, ano nangyari, di ba? Tinawanan ni Sarah. Remember that? Remember our, 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 our Bible story? Then it also happened to no less than the cousin of Mary, Elizabeth. When somebody approached Zechariah, the same angel, Gabriel approached Zechariah and told, told the priest, priest pa si Zechariah, that, guess what? Your wife, Elizabeth, will bear a child, will pave the way, will be named John. Di rin sila niniwala. Priest pa yun. But here's Mary, an ordinary young lady who just accepted, who accepted the fact because of her faith in the Lord, knowing that it is from God. It is a word. It is a promise from God. Miracle was that Mary was set apart because of her faith and her humility. She blindly but faithfully submitted. In Luke 1, verse 45 said, You are blessed. Because you believe the Lord would do what He said. She was blessed because of her faith. The question to all of us now is, with all the prayers that we have asked for, have we lost hope? Kaya ko, kung kaya ko papakinggan mo, lahat ng Christmas song would talk with, 
would echo or would talk about hope. It's always pointed to hope, 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 hope. Because of who was born on Christmas Day? Jesus Christ. Sometimes, most of the times, it's not actually anchored on circumstances, but on a person. Our faith in that person. All we have to do is to trust, faithfully obey, and to be under the Lordship of Christ. I remember this story about um, Ate Emmy. Can you show that picture? Ate Emmy. She has been part of our church for, uh, for more than a decade. And, uh, and kasabay niyan, more than a decade, her ministry is to the correctional. For those who are the people deprived of liberty, and doon sa mga babae, sa mga correctional, dito sa San Juan. Last Sunday, or sorry, Boots, two Sundays ago, Two Sundays ago, this person, uh, Ate Amy, approached her and told her, Ate Amy, ako po yung isa sa mga nakulong at na-reach out nyo during your outreach. We have an outreach in the correctional where we actually go there, uh, not just sharing food, but we share the Word of God to them. We pray for them. We actually do Bible study, victory group, small group with them. One time we did the uh, biblical foundation for them. Guess what? We also did one-to-one with them. We knocked through natin sila sa journey. And there was a time na talagang pumunta pa kami doon, nagdoon pa tayo, nag-water baptize sa loob ng kulungan here in San Juan. I, I, I'm so blessed to be part of it. And this lady came and said, I'm a product of your work there in San Juan. An ordinary person in Ate Emmy. Just like Mary being used. Ano ba yung talent niya? Ah, evangelist siguro yan. Ano ba yung talent niya? Siguro magaling magsalita yan. Ma- Obedience. It's her faith. It's her faith that bolstered her. This person came here, approached Ate Emmy, and then actually nag- nagkaroon sila ng picture taken doon kasi bumibili siya ng one-to-one. Uh, one-to-one is one of our booklets that we use as a tool to start your journey as a disciple with, with Christ. And bumibili siya ng one-to-one kasi babalik siya ng tarlac. Babalik na siya ng tarlac, she's based there, and she's doing one-to-one to people there in tarlac. God could use you, an ordinary person with extraordinary faith for His glory. Can we give the Lord a hand in that? Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your path. Just trusting the Lord. Trusting the Lord. Second thing, second insight on this verse is that nothing is impossible with God. memorize natin to, no? When we're facing challenges, we claim this, nothing is impossible with God. When, 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 nakita nyo na, di ba? Mga parents, medyo alam nyo, papula na yung mga grade ng anak nyo. Nothing is impossible with God. Di ba? Pag tumingin ka ng kalendaryo, nakita mo, di ba? Wala kang pinapatamaan, guys. Not you guys. Not you guys. Not my friends. Lumalampas ka na dun sa last train ng... <laughs> di ba? Lumampas ka na, nasa 30-ish ka na, di ba? Nothing is impossible with God. But in this, at, the, at this... In this story, God proved how nothing is really impossible with, with, with Him. Elizabeth conceiving. And more importantly, Mary carrying Jesus in her womb. Immaculate conception. It's Jesus, period. God alone. Only by His great mercy. Only by His divine grace. If you're facing trials right now, as I, as I uh, shared the earlier verse in First Peter, nothing is impossible with God. Putting our hope in Him. Nothing we can do can erase or nothing we cannot do can erase Christmas from happening. Why? Because it already happened more than 2,000 years ago. When God gave His one and only Son for us to die on that cross. Sa bahay namin, sobrang importante ng Christmas that we have a story just for Christmas. But this year, I thought we won't, we won't get into the decorating thing. Okay, sobrang late. 
Kahapon lang yata. Kahapon lang namin nakuha yung mga pang-decorate pang namin. But nothing can stop Christmas. Can, can you imagine people in Ukraine? This, is, this will be the second year for them having war in their neighborhood, in their community, but nothing stops Christmas from coming. In the Middle East, where, where still hundreds of people are, are, are being hostage, thousands of people are being massacred, nothing can stop Christmas. Nothing is impossible with God. In Davao, in our own backyard, Andiyan na naman yung shear line, baha na naman. We've been getting reports from our churches in, 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 in Davao. Nothing is impossible with God. Christmas still happen. In Matthew 1.23 says here, Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. In war, in famine, in, 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 in calamities, God is still with us. In our personal trials, in the time that we're, 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 we're facing trials of our own, God is with you. God is with us. Jesus Christ is always with us. Not like Santa. Di ba? Pag si Santa kasi, Jo Marie Chan, kailan lang ba siya lumalabas? Pag Pasko. Not Jesus. He's always with us. Another story I want to share to you is... Um, Last week, we were able to reach out and do, an, do a Christmas event for Bahay Pag-asa. Bahay Pag-asa houses kids who are in conflict. Ibig sabihin yung mga bata na, na nagkaroon ng kaso, pero hindi nila mapadala sa prison because they're underage. So we have this facility called Bahay Pag-asa. Can you imagine 13, 13 years old to 18 years old? Pag nagkaroon ka, when you're in conflict with the law, you will be put in this place, Bahay Pag-asa. Um, we, did an, we did an outreach there. We played with them. We shared the word. We fed them, gave them toys, and then later on, we were actually blessed with the story. The person on your right, that's Michael. He's the one heading Bahay, Bahay Pag-asa of San Juan. I found out through his story that he was actually a product of Bahay Pag-asa. He was put there when he was 13 years old. Tapos nag-graduate siya. May, tawag, may graduation pala sila. So, in nag-graduate siya, guess what? Bumalik uli siya doon, tumulong siya, and nagkaroon siya ng heart and burden to work in Bahay Pag-asa. Now he's leading it. Okay, backstory pa. Ang haba ng story niya. Okay, backstory sa niya sa akin, Pastor, do you know that uh, nag Green Hills po ako? Talaga? Oo. Oh. Inakita niya si Pastor Joash. I asked Pastor Joash to join us with the rest of our uh, um, uh, friends who are victory group leaders. Pagpunta namin doon, sabi niya, si Pastor Joash, when he was still um, a youth pastor of victory, nag-church po ako sa Victory Green Hills. Kilala niya si Pastor Joash. That was Boj. Nakita niya si Josh New, our campus missionary. Sabi niya, actually, nagkaroon ako dati ng victory group. Kasama ko si Josh New. Doon sa victory group. This person, same person. Not only that, didn't stop there. Sabi niya daw, umiiyak siya. Gulat ako, ba't siya umiiyak? Sabi niya, Pastor, yung nag-preach ka last Sunday, andun po ako. Sabi niya, kaya kilala ko po kayo. And he was so happy that we were able to reach out. Bahay pag-asa. But we were so blessed afterwards, knowing that he has already done the field work. Yung initial work, ginagawa niya na. He was actually using our material, especially the one-to-one, -to, -one, to reach out these children. Because sabi niya, one day, gusto ko, pag nakalaya sila, pag nakalabas sila dito, ang baon nila, hindi lang yung reformation ng law, but reformation. Because Christ already worked in their lives. God is in the move. Nothing is impossible with God. Nothing we can do could stop what God is doing. All we have to do is to blindly follow and be faithful in what He's doing. Last, the third insight from this text to give us hope on the on miracle of Christmas is that Christmas is the fulfillment of God's plan. As Christians, means na nakakalimutan natin, na replace na natin si Lord. Ano, ano, ano ibig sabihin ko? Minsan, nagiging sentro na ng faith natin, tayo, tayo, tayo. 
para sa atin, kailan to, bakit wala pa, ano to, nare-replace natin si Jesus in our focus. We, 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 we sort of invert the focus to us ourselves. But Christmas is the fulfillment of His plan all along. In, I remember in the last verse in what we read earlier in uh, Luke 38, what it said, Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it, let it be to me according to your word. Let it be to me according to your word. Ano yung mga binigay sa atin ni Lord ngayon? Mga promises. Pinanghahawakan pa ba natin yun? Are we still full of hope? Still waiting on those promises? Have you thought about this? Have God been so unfaithful to you that pag nag, natapos yung isang taon, hindi nagko-continue yung promise niya sa buhay natin? That isn't so. Doesn't mean that a year ends, a chapter ends, the Word of God stops. That doesn't happen. He's always faithful through and through. In 2 Samuel 7, 12 to 17 says here, When your days are fulfilled and you lie down with your fathers, I will raise up your offspring after you. You shall come from your body and I will establish his kingdom. This is, a, this is a message to David for telling the story of Christ coming. Verse 13, He shall build a house for my name and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be to him a father and he shall to be to me a son. When he commits iniquity, I will discipline him with the rod of men, with the stripes of the sons of men. But my steadfast love will not depart from him as I took it from Saul, whom I put away from before you. And your house and your kingdom shall be made sure forever before me. Your throne shall be established forever. In accordance with all these words, in accordance with all these visions, Nathan spoke to David. Jesus Christ is the greatest gift of all. He's our greatest gift. He's our greatest. There's no actually plan B. Jesus, period. Let's be in hope that because of Christ, Christmas is anchored on hope. As God has promised, He sent His Son to die for us on the cross. He sent Jesus, the Word, to, be, to, to, to dwell with us, to live with us, and to give us eternal hope. Him who has no sin died for us. And that didn't stop there. As He has promised, after three days, He will rise again. And He did to fulfill His plan according again to his word and now he's seated at the right hand of the father not judging but interceding for you and i to fulfill again the word of god christmas is the fulfillment of god's plan it's not about the bonus it's not it's not the bonus that will fulfill our plan although amen naman tayo kung may bonus di ba? it's not the it's more than the gifts that we unwrap, big or small, Jesus is the greatest gift of Christmas. My prayer is that if you haven't received yet a word from the Lord, that you actually wrestle with Him and ask, well, my Lord, ano nga ba yung pangako mo sa akin? If there are, some, there are promises that has yet to be fulfilled. You wrestled with the Lord and said, Oh nga, Lord, bakit wala pa to? Kailan? If for some reason, you have that word, but something happened, and that you, you know your relationship with the Lord is, kumbaga, nasa peligro, may tampo ka kay Lord, my prayer is that you will ask the Lord, to restore it, to restore that relationship. I remember, um, let me end with this story of um, back in 2009, um, we had a Christmas party and a dedication hosted by uh, Jason and Katlo. We were in Club Filipino. I, I, I couldn't forget that. And one of the pastors approached me, yung nag-dedicate dun sa anak ni uh, uh, Jason. Lumapit siya sa akin, sabi niya, 
Larry, congratulations! And I was wondering, okay, what's going on? Congratulations! Uh, ano ba, nagpe-pray ka na ba ng baby girl? So, nagulat ako. He was actually prophesying and saying that um, yet was pregnant. Nagulat ako. It doesn't mean naman na immaculate conception, di ba? Pero napatanong ako, sabi ko, si Tart, are you pregnant? Sabi niya, no, I'm, I'm not. Okay. Lo and behold, January, we found out she was pregnant. And because we only had two boys back then, I was actually praying for a girl. And he dropped a word in me. In Psalm 37, I was asking for a word, and yun lang binigay sa akin. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. That's my verse for the year. Yun yung pinanghawakan ko. Even though at times, alam, alam, alam mo naman yun, di ba? That God would actually put people in you to test your faith. Pinadala niya sa akin, Dennis C., Jason Law. Bojo, were you a part of that? Yes, hindi yata. I'm not sure. Mabait si Bojo sa akin. But primarily these two, Jason Law and, and Dennis, would actually tell me and tease me, what if? Alam mo naman si Lord, mapagbiro. But lalaki pa rin yung binigay niya sa'yo. What if lang? Hindi ako natinag, you know why? He gave me a word eh. He said, delight yourself in the Lord and I will give you the desires of my heart. And I delighted in the Lord. Even though there, it was tra- traumatic for me, how they tormented me, hindi ako natinag because He gave me that word. Before you actually said that, yeah, I'm a born again. I have Christ. Christ is my living hope. Is God's word still alive in you? Just a question. Can you imagine if Mary wasn't grounded in her faith? Can you imagine if... Can you, can you just imagine that happened to her? I was uh, already a fiancé, betrothed, mag-aasawa ka na, tapos biglang nabuntis ka. That you don't know how to explain. It starts with the Word. It starts with us holding His promises so dear that we actually walk with it. Hindi lang yung binasa natin, pero we actually live it. Even though times my trials, we live with it. And we believe that who, who made that promise is able and faithful to deliver for you and I. My encouragement and my appeal and my prayer to each and every one of us, do not lose hope. Because if you lose hope, that's like saying Christmas is meaningless. Sayang yung pumunta si Jesus. Sayang yung nabuhay siya. Sayang yung kinuha niya lahat ng kasalanan natin. Sayang yung nagpapakos sa krus. Sayang naman yung nabuhay siya after three days. Because all of those happened to give us hope that is eternal. Can I ask everybody to stand? We're going we're gonna to respond in worship. And let me pray first. That, can I just ask everybody to just bow your heads? Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would speak to us. Might not actually be the, the Christmas narrative or the Christmas preaching that we were hoping it to be. But Lord, let that let your message, Lord, dwell in us. If we are in that impossible situation right now, Lord, Lord, I pray, Lord, speak to us. Because before a reversal happens in our circumstances, we have to first restore our relationship with you. Maybe also we have heard this story time and time again. Uh, alam mo yun, dumadaan na lang talaga siya. We took it for granted. Lord, same old, same old. But Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you ignite something in us. 
I pray, Father, that it's more than just the season. But Lord, we will look to the reason. Christ alone. Christ is the reason. If that is you with all heads bowed and eyes closed. If that is you. If you need, if you need restoration. Okay, I invite you to just raise your hands. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray, Lord God, for indeed, Lord, restoration is anchored on you, Jesus Christ, and not just on a season. Lord, that we can, we can be restored any time of the day, any time of the year because of what you have done, Jesus, on that cross. Father, I pray, Lord, that we would also be committed, Lord, in our walk, Lord, I pray, Lord, that maybe because of this joyous season, Lord, it starts now and it happens now. Father, even pray, Lord God, Lord, that you will even put people around us, Lord. If, if, if Lord, na, there are people who we feel like either na offend kami or na offend namin sila, Father, I pray, Lord, restorations happen now. Lord, even lift up, Lord God, our celebration to you lord let it be more meaningful let it be full of joy and lord let us not lose that focus lord that you are the only reason why we can celebrate jesus as jesus alone